good. Just me and Anton today, and uh, Jonah's helping us clock and clear him. So. Yeah, sometimes there's not a lot of not a lot of lay. You got a big stump right here, and then you got stuff that I don't know if you can see that. There's our stump. There's some stuff down in here. It's mostly flat ground, but it's hard to save these redwoods out and not break them. We're trying everything we can to, you know, lose board footage. We don't want to do that. So kind of got to go every which direction. It's kind of a puzzle. In here. Forty one two, you thinking? Forty one foot two inch, yeah.
<laughs> I mean, nice what else stop. are you going to do? Oh. Bump the rest of that off. I can't see it yet. about uh 50 48 what's that how far how much further 48 feet right here there's 49 there's 50 right there where it's broke you come back to uh 32 okay what, what do you got out there 40 where's the 40 or 33 31 33 two right here that are 20 feet left yeah all right We'll, uh, we'll make a 33 and a... Oh, my tape came undone. That's right, I got it right here. I gotta make my mark. Someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that is, but I know it's not me. Beat that one in. They going in? Not really. It takes a little bit more of an axe. It's moving. You're going. Oh, <laughs>
There you go. See it go in easier? Yep. I get the other one. There you go, back and forth. That is boy. Got her on the run. Keep it yeah. going. The thing swings a lot better than that four pound plum, sure huh? It does. Once these big tall ones set back like this, it takes a lot to get them going forward. He's got her. Hey! Oh! Nice. Yeah, I thought like I mean, it's pretty even all the way across. Yeah, that thing's set back though. Yeah, I had to cut a little more on this corner. Get a work out there? Oh yeah. I all gotta right. take these freaking gloves off this Yeah, those little axes. The deal with cutting with a little axe, which, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, experience. When you're going to set a wedge with a little axe, man, you got to go like hell yeah. to catch that up. But the bigger axe, you got a little more poop behind her. Oh, she'll, yeah. she'll sink her a little heavier, deeper, on that one. quicker. I'm glad you got to swing your axe a little bit, huh? She repressed. So we'll get three long logs out of this now. There's a 31 right there. On these, we can go two foot molts. But a 33 is right here. Broke right there on that stump. Just yeah. can't see it. I didn't. Well, I mean, these things are 100, 120 yeah. feet tall. That's I, what I was just saying a little bit ago on the video. You can't see everything in the brush. So we would have got four long logs out of this. Yeah. Unfortunately, it just can't see all that much in the. She caught that stump right there. Might be able to get a 35 out of this. We can't. Unless it's cracked real bad right there. But I don't. Yeah. We'll, we'll clean it up to a 33. It's right there, Gordy. All right. I don't want to break anything. Yeah. Well, this one's a different. Let me see. You I marked out those with purple? Yeah. I'll, uh, you just show me where they're at here. I'll get this one buck. So go go get ready to do that one, but let us cut this one first. why you put that little cut in there because you just slabbed wound. a little bit yep it's all in the sap and if you wouldn't have it might have caught four or six inches down it would have peeled that all the way back to the log yeah i peeled the other one did you on the bottom it peeled back a little bit it's all right but that's, that's it peeled back cut. into here i usually do them a little closer to the to the curve you want me a little closer a this little time? bit okay you want it deeper than that or is that no, okay as far right. as depth that's fine okay yeah that saved that whole that whole log you think like another inch closer yep okay but that's perfect depth. It saved that whole log. Otherwise, it would have slabbed all the way back past him, and it would have been. So you have to cut into the wood a little bit. On a those. little bit. Okay. Yeah, you got to get into the sap wood. It gives it that little break, and yeah. it'll snap that off. It just snaps. Off. And that's just enough give. It basically that it won't grab the it. whole log. Yeah, it's a, it's a. This is people don't realize, and I'm not like an artist or bragging or anything, but it's an art to being out here. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of little tricks that if you don't do them right, you'll mess up wood. I mean, you just will. You had a nice buck on that last one. Yeah, it was You're beautiful. doing really well, dude. So really it was well. A textbook. You did it perfect. Right. You listened to what I said and you executed it perfectly. Well, that's how you do well, is listen to the people who know what they're doing. I mean, so don't listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Jonah, why don't you go cut that fur right there and just put it out towards the stump of that out there and that, that one right opening. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Just like I asked. 
Good job. Nice job. Thanks. Trying to find a shot for this one. This is the tallest one out here. Little 461 that could. These saws were so great. Love it. That's the largest tree we've cut out here on the stump, but I'll bet it's probably got the most volume. It's super tall. It just holds its size. It's just a big pipe. I think four long logs. Oh, four and a half. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's got all, I bet if we save this all the way out to the tassel, I'll bet we can get five 32 foot logs out of it. <clears throat> maybe like, maybe two 37s two, and three 32s. That's tall. And it just holds its size. So you're thinking that's our shot, right? Right to the right of that? Yeah, Where problem, about is my stump at? The problem is, is your stump is only, if you look out there, it's only about six inches over. So, oh. you know, yeah, it's probably 15 feet out there, but on this stump, it's only about that much of an off. If you're off about that much on the stump, you're off 20 feet out there and you're going to plow your stump. And then if you put it right here, there's a big old growth stump out there. And you put it where Jonah's at. We fell, Jonah fell a tree across there yesterday. And there's about a, I don't know, 24 inch log right there. So do we cut it and break that top log? I mean, we're cutting it. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna hit the ground. I'm just trying to figure out where. It she, does have a quite a bit of uphill lean. I mean, shoot. She's you know, a dandy. Right alongside that tree. It would probably work out. Put a big undercut in it. Well, you can let me cut it, and then if it breaks, you can blame me. Got ya. If you like that guy that left town on the... I fired <laughs> that, him. That's the, that's the <laughs> I'll guy. I'll tell the owner, I'll tell the logger, I fired that son of <laughs> he left. He'll be back next month. <laughs> <laughs> to try again. You know what? We can only do what we can do. I mean, seriously, like, you can't save every tree. We like to save these big ones because if you're going to cut something this big, you obviously want to save every piece of wood you can. It's inherently valuable and... It's a waste, you know? Who wants yeah. to waste? We don't want to break anything. No, but but you also have to take into consideration that these trees, they break. They're brittle. Like a matchstick. It's a pipe. Well, let's get after it. Two choices. We can go there, or we can go right there. Straight ahead, right where that bush is. Right. What do you want to do? Up here or there? I mean, you went, you walked, and I didn't. So tight shot over there, but the ground's there. It's gonna break here. Okay. So let's. But it's not gonna break bad if you keep it right here. If you go any higher, it will break bad. Tight shot either way. This? Your call. I'm just gonna regular humbolt it. Okay. 40. Nail this in. That would be cool. This is a big one, Goose. Woo! Rock and roll. Here's our chance. It's a big one, Goose. <laughs> it's actually probably got more volume than the other trees we cut because it's got a half again more of a log. Well, it's not as big on the stump, but it holds its size. All right. Whatever you do, don't let it go low. Because if it goes low. It'll be into that clump out there and there's a huge redwood stump right there and right there. Okay. So, yep. Right over drill there. See, that. Those, see those two oak limbs right there that are kind of shiny, that are only four feet off the ground? The shiny in the rain? The bush? Yep, yeah. the bush. Right there, over that stick. Right and, on top of that stick. Yep, and right out over these leaves right here. All right. <sighs> here. Nail it.
a little low on my bottom cut. Let me whack it out for you. Go ahead. I was a little low on this side, but not bad. Well, you could if you wanted to come over and bring this lower piece to match. Yep, I'm gonna do that. That'll give it a little bit more of a... Yep. But I wouldn't cut in anymore. I'm gun pretty nice. Yeah. Tube salad's missing out. Tube Where are you at, salad. tube salad? <laughs> Guilty of treason. He missed yeah. out on this one. Yeah. Uh, it's the old timer show now, <laughs> bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll be back. Tube salad. <laughs> Good job, boys. Perfect. It nice didn't stuff. break. I can't believe it. Well, you had to hit right there. Look, you turn around. Look, the oak brush. That I hit. You hit. It's gone. Just on the upside of our. Well, yeah, but he put that stick there, and I actually moved the tape higher. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because you were pulling off the bottom. Yeah. Here's your wedge. Good job. <laughs>
So I'm gonna show how long this is. There's our last buck. We saved out beyond that top. Here's the start of it. There's another buck. Another long log. So what was that boy. first buck at? So 20 and then two 37 foot logs yep. and a 40. And honestly, if we would have waited, we probably could have got a 20, a 37 and two 40s. <laughs> Atta boy. Watch those tops. Yeah, saw. You can always saw more on that bottom side than the top. Okay. And, uh, it's all right. It's my fault. I stopped him. I wanted it up tight because I think that one over there has got to go behind you. And we can put it right here too. So I wanted to keep this one up. Still nice job, Jonah. Yeah, it's great.
Nice. You never know what you're gonna get in here, and sometimes people are like, oh, you broke that. No, that that's that's old. From a fire or a skidding. Before. It's old like us. Some old timers. Old, old, old dogs like us. <laughs> What's that song? Uh, I'm not too old to cut the mustard, I'm just too old to spread it around. <laughs> <laughs> Well, no, he's great. I, I'm impressed for a guy that's never been around anything like this before. I mean, he's he's cutting like a person who's cut for a few months, and his stumps are really good for a first timer. I mean, I got guys that have cut for me for over a year, and they're not that good. So, no, he's doing well. He gets it. So we kind of finished up with the big stuff, working our way back into this. This is just a thinning job, and this is this is where it kind of gets tough. You know, you gotta pluck these ones out that aren't painted orange and they're limb locked you can't cut that one so yeah this is kind of what it's like that's hung up <laughs> that one stays get a couple more here before i gotta go it's almost quitting time <laughs> Hard to pluck these out of here. There's a blue one. There it goes. So we made her back to the truck We're calling her a day thanks everybody for watching thank you anton for letting us come out anytime good job buddy Here's good job to you bud see you guys on the next one